everyone, this is Game Frost, and today's new tutorial, what we are going to be doing today is that we're going to overclock our processor on an OEM motherboard using AMD Overdrive. Now, I've, if you guys ever have an OEM motherboard, like let's say a Lenovo or a Dell or HP board, and you have an AM3 Plus um, chipset or AM3 Plus board, I think AMD Overdrive is the, is the one to go. Um, actually, AM, AMD Overdrive only supports, um, from the 760G chipset all the way up to the 9, I think the 9, 990FX chipset, I guess. Um, currently, um, I haven't been doing that many PC tutorials lately, but I think this one is going to be the newest PC tutorial. I have, um, other tutorials coming up soon, but this, in this tutorial, I'm going to just show you how to overclock your, uh, your processor in the OEM board. So let's get started, shall we? Alrighty, so as you can see here, we have AMD Overdrive working and functioning. It is using the latest version 4.31. And if you guys want to identify what chipset you're using because AMD Overdrive only identifies 760G up to 980, all you need to, I mean 990, all you need to do is um, download CPU-Z, click on main board, and you'll actually see your chipset right here. So I'm using 880G. Now, what's funny about this Lenovo board is that um, it was advertised as a 980G chipset. But instead, I have gotten this right here, which is the 880G chipset, which was okay at least. At least, you know, it's a good chipset to use. But its BIOS was very, very limited. I really can't do much. You can't overclock. You can't do nothing because this is an OEM board. Same goes to Dell, HP, um, and more. So, um, with that further ado, so since we have AMD Overdrive open, as you can see, I'm using an FX 4300. And you can see that it's running on turbo. So, um, its rated speed is uh, 3800, while it's turbo is supposed to be 3900 by overclocking to 4000. Or four gigahertz now if you guys don't want to run on turbo it's definitely fine like I really don't like to run on turbo as well because um, if you're running on turbo um, it sometimes it, the frames will go up and down all the time because you know turbo is like literally like okay so if this core definitely needs turbo it needs it like and and literally turbo works on like temperature so if your temperature is good it will run on turbo so we're just gonna disable turbo um, but before we disable that, we're going to bench our CPUs to see what we actually have. So, let's bench this bad boy. Now, as you can see here, you see the, C the CPU single thread and the multi-thread performance. Now, as I've known and everybody noticed already, that FX CPUs have the worst single-threaded performance um, they've built. But I'm glad that I've actually bought a Vichera instead of a Bulldozer or it just gets worse. Now, the single thread we have is two, 218, while the multi-thread is 747, and that's out of um, 4 gigahertz turbo. So now, what we're going to do now is that we're going to disable turbo right here, and we're just going to overclock it to 4.6 gigahertz. Now, remember, um, it, al it always depends on your CPU. Sometimes it can work using minimal vol voltage, uh, or it does, and that's basically based on your silicon lottery for me i am very lucky and it really works well with 4.6 gigahertz on um, 1.35 volts remember do not put your voltage um over four i mean 1.4 or higher or you might like you really need a good um cooler for this to work right now i'm using a stock cooler so it's really not the best cooler but it really works on 1.35 volts um, running on 4.6 gigahertz so as you can see on cpu z right now it's running 4.6 gigahertz and stuff like that now you really don't have to change your uh what they call it your north bridge voltage it's really not necessary and plus it really doesn't work like if i try to change it right now like target is 6 um 1.625 this is what happens it doesn't change so you really you don't have to change this it's only basically, I think, like your memory voltage or something like that. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to see if we can actually go higher than 218 and 742. So let's bench it one more time. And as you can see right here, this has been a slight improvement 
of what we have and so last time we had 218 on single thread now we have 256 and on multi thread we have 873.1 now amd overdrive only works if your chipset supports it and if you really want to overclock on your oem board now if you really want it to like save settings or set as default all you need to do is go here you can click on apply my last settings when system boots click on set as default and every time when you launch AMD Overdrive, all you need to do is click on default and it will work out. So all you need so that's all you need to do. Also, you can click this button right here. And if it turns red, all you're just gonna do is save on boot. And there you have it, guys. This is how you, you can overclock your uh, old FX. Um so if you have any FX or OEM boards, this is how you can overclock it. Um let me just click apply and I can just click OK. Also, if you feel like overclocking on your memory timings, that's basically all up on you. And yeah, um, I hope I will see you guys on the next tutorial and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody and have a great day.